learn about how to use the contrast Gradle plugin. So go ahead and go to the open docs and go to the Gradle plugin section and open up this link to our GitHub repository. And inside this GitHub repository, you'll find instructions, not only the code for the plugin, but how to set up the plugin and work with it. So go ahead and go to the guide and make sure you have Gradle installed and clone the sample application uh, whose code you can find right here. And for this application to run, uh, you'll need uh, Mongo, a MongoDB and as well as Gradle, of course. So uh, install MongoDB and which and get that application up and running. And to install MongoDB, you actually we already have that instruction right there for you. So once you have that open and you ran these two commands, uh, head over to the application and open up the build.gradle. So we're first going to start up our Mongo server and whose command is this one right here. I'm going to copy and paste that. So I actually already have MongoDB already running, so which is why I get this message right here. But if you don't, you should see a message like success, MongoDB is running, or you started the server. Awesome. So now let's look through our build.gradle file. And the important thing here is that in our dependency section, we added a class path that links us to our Gradle plugin, our contrast Gradle plugin. And to read more about that, you can go ahead to the Gradle's plugin webpage and you can see a nice little section about our plugin. Sweet. So now that we have that set up, go ahead and scroll down to the uh, this section right here, all the way to the bottom, and you can read about the contrast configuration. And what you need to do is you need to set that up with your username and API key and all this stuff. Make sure uh, this is correct. So if you have a problem with like the organization uh, UID or something, which you can find uh, in this section, organization setting, if you have some sort of incorrect property, you'll get an error in our install section. Uh, so usually if there's any errors in this part, it's because you didn't uh, have, you don't have these parameters correct. So now we're just going to name this uh, my test app and my test server. Awesome. So uh, that's it. That's all the edits that we or whatever that we really need to do. And now go down and we're going to run this application. So go ahead and run this command right here, Gradle build contrast in, uh, install. So uh, sorry about that. Uh, what we're doing is we're going to be building this plugin and what we'll see is that in the build section, uh, our build directory, which you should cd into, is you'll see the contrast jar. Awesome. Now scroll down and copy uh, this command right here. I don't want to run it. Uh, sorry about that. And what this, what we're doing is that in the build directory, we're linking a Java agent of contrast.jar and setting the app name to my test app and the server to my test server. So in order to you know make it consistent, I'm just going to change that to my test app. Put that D back there, and I'm going to name this my test server. And right here, we're just linking it to the jars produced in the lib section of the actual application itself. So go ahead and run that. And we're opening up in contrast. This step might actually take a, a couple of seconds. So, so it looks like the application is up and running. So if you just go to the localhost 8080, you should see this app. And just go around and uh, you know, uh, play around with it, clear, you know, filter, or whatever. And so you, you might notice that there's actually no data loaded here. Uh, that's because we ran our command in the build directory. So if you just want, if you could, you could just CD out and change the Java age directed target slash, and that should be fine. But uh, you can actually read about those instructions in this part of the uh, directions. So now that we have that up and running, go ahead and add an application and go to step four. You should see our app right here, and you can just uh, go ahead and actually sorry, add that application. Perfect. And you'll see it right here. My test app. And if you apply your license, you can analyze its uh, vulnerabilities and such. And that's it. Uh, that's today's video. Thank you and goodbye. <laughs>